everybody, I'm Ben Newsbaron with Intel Streamers Bootcamp, and today we're doing something a little bit different. We're on the set of a large mixed reality shoot helping promote Insomniac's The Unspoken and Intel's Core i7 processors. Um, really excited to show you this stuff. We've got some really, really neat tech that they're working with, and he's going to show us how they're working. This is Tim Selvedy with Insomniac. And Tim, how are you guys capturing all this footage? So right now we have uh, probably uh, we have four PCs set up. They're high-end PCs with the uh, Intel Core i7 processors. Uh, we have this guy in front of the green screen right here. He is the host. Uh, he's going to be playing against this guy over here, who is the client, and it's a PvP game for those who don't know. Uh, and then over here we have a Razer Blade laptop that is going to be capturing all the footage. But all that footage is coming from the secret sauce, which is on the other side over here. So we're going to show you that. Absolutely. And for those who don't know, mixed reality is when the player is actually being shown inside of the video game engine, not just on a green screen, but actually being rendered inside. And that includes the lighting. Yeah, so this is uh, him being rendered real time in engine. And what we're doing is capturing him in front of the green screen to that camera over there. And that camera is feeding to this computer, which our engine is then compositing in game on the fly. That is awesome. And you've got a HMD over uh, here on top of the camera too? Yeah, so in order to uh, get location in game, for if we want to sync everything up like the effects, we want to make sure everything lines up. To do that better, we strapped a rift to the top of the camera because it knows tracking, right? So we take that, if we were to take that camera and move it, it would move in game because we want to sync the real world camera with the in game camera. So it's, it's nothing's better than the actual tracking from the Rift or, and or a controller. That is so cool and it all looks really, really good. Now, a lot of the stuff is very, very high end and probably very expensive, so a little bit prohibitive for us at home, but let's go back to the core of what we're going to be doing the Intel Core i7 processors and let's see what we're doing at home. So we just saw a professional VR shoot back at the studio. Here at home, we've got something a little bit different that we're going to be working with just to make it easier and more cost effective. The basics are the same as a normal VR setup. We've got our green screen, we have lighting, and we have a pretty good camera here as well. The main difference is we have a Vive controller right on top that can track where the camera is actually placed, similar to how the headset was on the camera back at the studio. One of the key differences between streaming a regular game and streaming a game in mixed reality is the game feed is going to be split into four quadrants. It'll have your background, your foreground, you're going to need your actual camera image, and then in your software you're actually going to need to layer it appropriately so that you have the game background, you are going to be in there as your camera footage, and then you're going to have any effects put on top of you in OBS or XSplit. Now one of the other differences that you might see here that you might not see back at your own home studio is the fact that we're using this giant camera. Don't get intimidated by that at all. The Vive controller on top to track the placement of the camera is really all you need to worry about. You can put that on top of a web camera if you want to. It doesn't make a whole lot of difference. If you do want to use a separate video camera that is a little bit more professional, you just need a capture card to bring that video footage into your normal streaming PC and it'll work out just fine. Shooting in mixed reality can be very tricky. Part of that is because the technology is very new. Not all games support it, and those that do might do so in roundabout ways that you might not be able to understand easily. For a more detailed guide on how to get mixed reality working, you can check out some of the guides that we have linked below in the description. You can also check out our other videos to make sure that you have a proper streaming setup for VR. Here's what mixed reality actually looks like. That's all for this episode of Intel Streamers Bootcamp. Now, Tim, I heard that there's some new content for the Unspoken that was just released that takes advantage of the Intel Core i7 processor. That's right, we just had a new content update that went live. Uh, there's gonna be a new arena, new artifact, new summon spell. We have new particle effects, uh, turbulent weather, um, and you're gonna need an Intel Core i7 processor to unlock the ultra settings, which also allows you to play max resolution. Well, I'm excited to play it. Well, thank you for watching. If you have any ideas about future uh, Streamers Bootcamp videos, feel free to let us know down in the comments, and also check back often for future videos about how to improve your streaming game. I'm Bad News Baron. See you next time.